You're listening to the Fairies and Folklore Podcast by Renal. I'm dark fantasy author Renal Janssen van Veer. With nearly a decade of digging around in dusty folklore books, researching creatures of imagination that ignited my curiosity, I'm here to share the folklore in a nutshell and how I reimagined it for my writing in An Origin of the Fae. This is the Fairies and Folklore Podcast. Hi, I'm your host, Rinal Jansen van Vieren. You can just call me Rinal. In today's episode, we're continuing our exploration of the Fae realm. This episode is brought to you by my Origin of the Fae book series. You've met them on the podcast. Now see them in action. Go to rinaldemythmaker.com forward slash Origin of the Fae series for more. And remember, that's Fay with an A-E. You can now support my time in producing the podcast, researching, writing and everything else involved by buying me a coffee. This can be a once-off thing or you can buy me coffee again in the future at your discretion. Go to buymeacoffee.com forward slash Renal to support me. I'm honoured to mention that this podcast is in the top 50 folklore podcasts on the web over on Feedspot. Check the link in the show notes. We're continuing our exploration of the workers of death. Today's fairy, Barges. Folklore in a nutshell by Renal. With as many variations in its name as in its looks, the Borges is a black dog from British mythology. For some, it is only found in Yorkshire. For others, it also comes from Manchester, Northumberland and Durham. Some even believe that it is wrapped in chains or drags chains behind it. Feels too much like Marley in some Dickensian nightmare, if you ask me. In some tales, Local dogs will bark to announce the appearance of the Borges. In other tales, the Borges leads the local dogs in a procession when someone important is about to die. I suppose the only people of note in these tales are those with titles, money and land. It is unclear whether the Borges can be seen by anyone except the dogs. My own dogs regularly walk in procession for some mischief or another. For the most part, the Borges is a black mastiff with fiery eyes, horns, fangs and claws. It is sometimes seen as a black bear, a white cat, a white rabbit or even a headless human. The white rabbit sounds a bit too much like the one Alice followed and the cat like a Kashi, which is a different fairy altogether. According to Keatley in the fairy mythology, the Borges appears in the shape of a mastiff dog and terrifies people with its shrieks. I can see the Borges like this. A dog that shrieks instead of barks or yelps will be totally terrifying. Some rare tales talk about the Borges bite not healing, this fear not being able to cross water, and that only those doomed to die soon can hear its howl. Whether a shrieking spectral hound or one that resembles my sweet Caitlin yelping in her sleep, it's probably best to stay clear of this harbinger of death. And now for my interpretation in the origin of the fae, Borges. The Borges is a black dog who usually looks like a German shepherd with reddish eyes, but a mirror can reveal its true nature and looks a spectral creature with fire for eyes. They live in the underworld, keeping souls from escaping back to the world of the living. And if souls were to escape, they go on the hunt in the human realm and forcibly take them back to where they belong. Borges ensure that all deals made with creatures from the underworld are upheld. Usually it entails keeping the foolish mortals safe. They are great companions and loyal. They have a strong sense of duty. I hope that you've enjoyed this episode of the Fairies and Folklore podcast and that you've learned something new about fairy. Remember that you can get a transcript of this episode in the description. 
If you're new to the podcast, why not go and grab your free copy of Unseen, the second book in the fairy tale series, on my website, renaldemythmaker.com. Loads of folklore, magic, and danger await. Take care.